All right, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, everybody. Let's do a little quick update on the little piglets. I'm sure you might be wondering how they're doing and uh, see how many we still have, actually, and how they're doing, health-wise. <laughs> Okay guys, that time has come. If you're anxiously wondering how many piglets we still have, we actually have six. So I know I think we had 12. The last time we told you it's been about a week and we have six left. So we're actually gonna, since it's kind of still hot out, we're gonna spray them down real quick, get them a bunch of their water going and uh, let them cool off a little bit and we'll tell you how everything's going. scratching. All right, so the next day we showed up to do our normal piggy checks and there were six dead piglets. That was really sad and we, you know, took out the baby piglets and hunted down. We were happy to find six alive after finding so many dead. And really at that point is like, crap, why are they dying? And so um, my friend was over and we kind of just worked with our two moms. We're really nervous about if they're feeding well, because I'm like, maybe they're just not getting good milk yet. So we spent some time with the moms, really getting them, like us just stimulating, trying to get the milk going and then getting the piglets on the moms. And during that morning, we were there for three or four hours and I think we saw them nurse. We got the piglets to nurse about three times. So we were really happy about that. There's the thought of like, let's, let's go get a bottle. Like let's help these pigs out. But we didn't. And we're like, we, we want these pigs to be able to survive without us having to do that. So it's kind of scary and hard and sad because you know, my little daughter loves the piglets and it's not like, Hey, we want to watch these piglets all die. But so instead of just letting them die. We did our best to help the moms. And I think it worked. The next day, really, we're like, will we still have six piglets? And we did. So we're really happy that every day we come back and there's still six piglets. Sometimes it's a miracle, actually. For those of you wondering which piglet goes to which mom, we officially have no idea. They are all a community uh, milk drinkers. So here we go. You little guys, oh, you're just rooting around, aren't you, little guy? So they officially drink off of whatever mother is providing milk. So when Charlotte told me that we only had six piglets and we had lost six, so now we're down from like 16 to six, so we've lost 10 total or something along those lines, uh, it was a matter of, hey, what's going on and is this going to continue on happening? And so I called the breeder person who we bought the pigs from, and uh, the breeding pigs and asked her, hey, like, what's going on? Um, options, kind of stuff. So one thing that Charlotte didn't mention is she saw that some had diarrhea or scours that were kind of going on. And so it was kind of a concern of like, hey, how widespread is this? So these are gonna be some things to maybe think about when you're doing pigs, when you come up and you have your, your pigs give their first litters, right? So they become sows. So first thing that we're, we're up against, she said, the summer, is pretty warm, it's been really hot, and a lot of people are actually struggling with the pigs. So it's not unusual to have these problems, and they're giving birth right in the middle of this heat wave. It's been over 100 degrees at times. It's just been pretty brutal. So that's kind of not helping us, okay? Heat. Second thing is scours, right? The scours problem, she said, you know, that could maybe be either like a health problem. Maybe they're finding something in the ground. Maybe they're just sick. Something's getting them like that. Um, she did say if they're getting the colostrum, probably that wouldn't be such an issue, at least within the first couple days, but it is possible. Um, maybe worm them, stuff like that. She wasn't super high on the list of worry on that part of it being a worming problem, but, you know, it's definitely something to watch. I think all of the ones that had scours were dead by that point. 
Um, I don't think any of these six had any kind of remnants of poo on their back end or any kind of remnants of scours. So um, that could have been a possibility. The third thing, which I think is probably the most telling and the, probably the most probable, is these mothers were bred at probably about six months old. Yeah, she just wants to drink with And we were told originally, do not breed your pigs until they're maybe like eight, nine months old, 10 months old, something like that, maybe even approaching a year. Well, yeah, it didn't happen, right? They ended up being together and not, and Hagrid did his stuff. So that means they are about 10 and a half months old when they had the litter. So at that young of an age, first time moms anyway have problems, they don't have as big a litters, but being that young, they aren't necessarily mature enough bodily wise to maybe produce the milk. So we could have a milk problem. So Charlotte was stimulating milk production when she was there trying to get them to, to lactate. And I think honestly, if I had to guess, that is probably the main issue that's going on is that they're just not getting the milk that you would have normally expected the moms to give. So these little guys are kind of tiny. Oh, well, you know, of course I have tons of baby piglets, but they are getting bigger, but uh, they are still kind of tiny. And it's nice to see them all fight and everything else for it. Here's only five. The sixth one is over here running around. But uh, one thing on Ariana, she has an enlarged, I don't know if this is going to be a mastitis thing. Um, back here on the back, these udders are gotten big. So we're kind of watching her, seeing if she gets any fever or anything like that. If it's like, um, if it's like, a, what would you call it? Mastitis? Is that pretty much what it was? Yep. Yeah. So some of it has actually gotten down, um, not as swelling as much. So we're just watching the pigs, seeing how they're going to do. We are fully aware that maybe these piglets are not going to be as big as they would normally be had they been born four months later. But uh, they're little piglets, so they're still cute. And we're going to see how big they get. And they're super aggressive little eaters. They seem to do really well. And I guess it's Ariana's turn to go ahead and feed their little piglets. While Harriet gets a nap. One option that was provided as a, as a potential uh, solution to this issue was the breeder chick told me, she goes, you could try supplementing them, um, like a mil milk replacer or feeding them, kind of like getting a bottle kind of calf idea, right? Getting bottled piglets. Um, she did tell me though, and I, some of you guys might be thinking, you know, do whatever you can and everything else like this is, I'm, I firmly believe in being practical with some of this and that solution just isn't gonna work for us. If we lived here on property, that would be one thing. We'd be here 24 seven and everything else. Even if we did live here, uh, the cost is gonna be quite a bit. Six piglets is gonna be quite a lot. The feeding schedule would be quite insane. And she said, even if you did all of that, there's no guarantee that they're gonna make it anyway. So, you know, I know it sounds like a great solution, just bottle feed everything you possibly can, but sometimes you just gotta let mother nature take its course. That's the way I do it. And I know not everybody believes that, but sometimes sink or swim. And we're all kind of in that boat. And just in our situation, it wouldn't have been practical for us to, to try and bottle feed these guys. It just it would have been outrageously ridiculous. So, um, And guess what? All six survived. Don't jump in there too quick sometimes. Struggle is sometimes part of the, the joy. I guess Ariana's done. Hey guys, go find Harriet. She sells food for you. Yesterday, we were watering the pigs, giving them their wallow, and these moms will just lay like this, and they'll lay together, and they just are so happy to be cool that they don't always care about their piglets. And They don't always recognize where they're at. They're busy. <laughs> right, they're doing something else. And so the piglets are not their number one concern. They're cooling off. And I was counting piglets, and I could only count five. And I was like, I'm missing a piglet. Where did it go? So I started trying to move the pigs, which they're pretty big pigs. So I'm trying to get Ariana up and I found the piglet under her and I pulled it up. It was like face first, smushed into the mud, like lifeless piglet. Like I seriously thought I had a dead piglet. Um, I started rubbing on its belly and just kind of trying to, I held it and I could tell the heart was still beating. So after doing that for a few minutes, um, he's, he started kind of twitching a little bit. So I let my daughter hold him and keep kind of patting his, his tummy and help keep him warming up and moving. And then my next daughter took it over. And by the time we were done, the piglet was squirming and ready to get down. 
Um, I right now I couldn't even tell you which one it was. So so far it's safe. Like I can't. I seriously thought one would be dead today because that was just yesterday. I'm like, well maybe it'll just be like dying soon, but. It survived, guys. I was really surprised. Hi, guy. Hi, little dude. Little piggy pig. Hi. Hi. Hi, how you doing? So that's one of the things I really think about, guys, is you're going to have squished pigs, and it just happens. And some mothers, when they get down, they kind of just plop, and that's not always the greatest thing. Others, you know, when they're good moms, they'll kind of go down on their front knees, grunt a lot and then slowly kind of wiggle themselves down and then their butt kind of hits the ground they give an advanced warning and this time just with all the water apparently that didn't happen as much and the pig got underneath her and she couldn't even hear it squeal because it was under the water Now some of these guys are pretty thin and some of them are a little bit thicker. Let's see if we can pick out the ones. Uh, this guy's not too bad. That guy's not too bad. And I think these are some of our two thinnest ones. So these guys are just a hoot. They're like little animals that just run and play and jump and scratch. But uh, there are a few that actually look a little bit thicker, and obviously in every litter you're going to have a runt. A pig's a pig, and we're grateful for having each and every one of them. So, they're doing super good, and they're playing around. And sometimes you'd even say they kind of look like dogs. <laughs> just the way they act. And they're just like juveniles, man. They're super fun. Super cute to watch. We are going to be selling these. We may keep one or two back just for us. But uh, the goal is to sell the others. So we hope that provided a good update for you guys, seeing where we're at with the pigs. We have six, we've had six for a number of days and they seem to be staying around. So the mothers are doing their jobs milking and the babies are doing their jobs in eating the milk. And um, you know, as, as they get older, we're gonna be weaning them here in three, four weeks. We do have to castrate them. I think we have three boys and three girls. So I haven't grabbed them up enough to even know which ones would be the boys. So. We'll find out. I don't know if I'm going to post all that, but uh, three boys and three girls, it is. Comment and like below if you think that you need a little bit more pigginess in your day, if you think the pigs are cute, and uh, they're super adorable and fun, even though they may be a wee bit wee. So we have six, and we count that as a blessing. Try and look on the positive side, guys. Yes, we lost more than what were born, but, you know, first time moms, first time fairer peoples like us, that can happen. So. We're grateful that the mothers are doing their job, and we're going to leave it here. So if you have any comments, leave them down below. If you want more updates, and as the piggies grow, and you want more piggy pictures, they're super adorable, let us know. Otherwise, I think it's time to about give you guys another bison update and kind of show you the animals, and they may be a lot different. You never know. So we'll catch you next time at Black Acre Ranch. Stick with us, guys. Bye.